Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover two commands SCP and SFTP. Both SCP and SFTP are used to transfer files securely between systems over SSH. But they serve different purposes and have distinct use cases. SCP is simple and quick for one-time transfer and it directly copies files without an interactive session. Whereas SFTP is used for continuous file management and interactive transfers. It is pretty much similar to a normal FTP session but it runs over SSH. So let us see how to use these commands and then we will summarize the differences in the end. So for this we will require two machines. One is root at the rate server whereas the other is baljeet at the rate client. So now what we require is we need to know the IP address of the machines. So for the server the IP address is you can use the IP as IP address show command to know the IP address. So for the server it is 192.168.1.12. Similarly for the client the IP address is 192.168.1.7. If I list the contents of the server so you can see these files are there whereas on the client these are the files. Now what I am going to do is I am going to transfer this file f1 from the server to the client machine. So let me just show you the contents of f1 all right just to check whether the same file is transferred or not. So the command is scp what I want to transfer f1 where baljeet is the user so you write user at the rate IP address of the machine. So I am sending to this user baljeet who is logged into the IP address or machine 192.168.1.7 where on the uh, now I need to give the path of the directory also where I am going to send this. So you can check that onto the client machine pwd. So the path is slash home slash baljeet. So I am going to send this f1 to baljeet at the rate 192.168.1.7 slash home slash baljeet. So it will ask the password for Baljeet, enter the password and the file is transferred. We can check ls and now you can see f1 file is there as an output. Let us check the contents cat f1 testing scp so let us check the contents here also testing scp right. Now we can also get a file from the client onto the server also okay. So what I am going to do is I am going to create a file here on to the client machine touch client underscore file. Let me write some content here cat client underscore file this is client file alright ls so this file is there client file on the server ls there is no file as client underscore file right. Now the command is scp baljeet now this syntax will change a little bit at the rate 192.168.1.7 colon the path of the file home baljeet client underscore file I just need to expand this where I want to transfer now this is the source file which I want to transfer where the path on my current system so that is slash root in my case because this is my current working directory password again and the file is transferred let us check ls and you can see client underscore file if I show you the content client underscore file you can see exactly the same content this is client file and which I wrote here also. This is client file right. So this is how you can use SCP to transfer the files between two systems either you can send a file or you can receive a file also from the same machine. Now the second command is SFTP. So for that we will use SFTP. So this is going to set up a connection once and then it is going to allow me interactively work on the other machine okay. So sftp 
simply write the name of the user at the rate IP address of the second machine 192.168.1.7 password for Baljeet and now you see you get a it says what connected to 192.168.1.7 so now I am connected to the client machine and I have a SFTP prompt okay if I use ls so what I see here I see the contents of the client machine okay let's just see here everything on the client machine is now visible on my server also because now I am able to access the client from the server now it is an interactive session I can do whatever I want so if I want to send a file to the client I use put okay what I want to send let us suppose now what I do here is okay before sending what if I remove the file f1 which I sent earlier using scp rm f1 removing yes okay ls the file is removed where on the client actually ls you can see there is no file f1 on the client okay I have removed it interactively from the server so now let us push this file once again so to transfer a file the command is put put what f1 f1 is on the server machine with put it will be transferred to the client machine see uploading f1 to slash home slash baljeet and if i do ls so you can see the file is uploaded once again let us cross check here also you can see f1 is back now let me create a file here touch f2 ls f2 right now i want to transfer this f2 file if i do ls here on the server also i am able to see this f2 but this is on this client machine i am just able to access the content via the server but i want f2 to be transferred to the server machine so i will use get get f2 now it is transferred to the server machine okay how will i check exit this session ls and you can see f2 file is there so you can see that with sftp we get a interactive session and i was able to run the commands like ls rm put get to transfer the files you can also run the commands like cd mkdir whereas with scp it was one time transfer and it wasn't interactive so to summarize the comparison between scp and sftp both these protocols they use ssh scp is one time but it is faster whereas sftp is continuous file management it allows you to upload modify as well as download the files scp is faster whereas sftp is slightly slower SCP does not allow any interaction whereas SFTP is interactive. Now this is important SCP has no resume option. Okay. So while transferring if the connection gets lost you will have to transfer the entire content again. Whereas with SFTP you can resume the interrupted transfers. SCP is limited to just copying files whereas SFTP is more flexible. It allowed us to use the ls command to list we can also use commands to rename delete and change permissions the best case scenario for scp is fast copying of files to and from remote servers whereas for sftp it is managing files remotely with more control so that was all about how to use scp and sftp to transfer files securely in the next video we are going to discuss about se linux